Uh, Gary Coleman passed away today. Uh, he was hospitalized on Thursday uh, with a brain hemorrhage, and he slipped into a coma and passed away uh, today in the morning. Sad story. It's Very sad, sad story. It's, it's a sad thing. life. Um, and a, uh, you know, I, I watched that show a lot when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was great. And, and then just all the, he just had a hard time the rest of the way. And the kidney operations and dialysis. Yeah, and he had two uh, unsuccessful uh, kidney transplants. He's had a kidney disease uh, since he was two, I think yeah. his mother said. That's why he was uh, diminutive. Right. Um, Not to mention his gubernatorial campaign that just went nowhere. <laughs> 13,000 votes he got. He finished just behind Larry Flint. Uh, in the race for governor. The Different Strokes had a great theme song, which I think we ought to probably bring you. Um, uh, he was taken off life support today. Uh, did you, have you ever seen Different Strokes, Anna? Yeah, I watched a couple episodes of it. Really? Yeah, it was, it was fun. Uh, so the, the degree to which that show is plagued is, I mean, it's, I mean, it's coincidental, but it, I mean, I don't know whether it's coincidental because there's so many child stars on it, and child stars do have. Yeah. Do struggle, so the odds are better. But I mean, Todd Bridges. I mean, you know, the the drug addiction that he has, charged and acquitted though on on murder charges. Uh, Dana Plato, uh, who played the uh, uh, biological daughter of uh, Mr. Kimberly. Drummond, Kimberly. That was her name yeah. on the show. I didn't spend a lot of time watching it. I loved the the theme song, of course. She committed suicide, and uh, um, uh, and of course now uh, uh, Gary. This Cole. didn't all happen today. No, no, no. This is all. This is all this month, but uh, but not. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's true. It's a, it is a plague show. And 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 uh, Todd Bridges, um, who played Willis of What You Talking About, Willis. Uh, he played the older brother, and he has just released a book, uh, sort of a life story, and that mm -hmm. his life is seems to be in a good place right now. You know, we uh, had Todd Bridges on the show, and Jenk interviewed him and uh, asked about uh, Gary Coleman and what relationship he had with Gary. And Todd Bridges had some strong things to say about Gary Coleman and some of the problems he had to go through in his life. We actually have that snippet of the no. video ready. So. Fantastic. Okay, let's watch it. Well, I tried to talk with him, but he don't want to talk to nobody. He's an angry little guy right now. He's just, he is mad at the world, man. And there's nothing I can do to really help him because he doesn't want to hear it. You know what I mean? He doesn't want he help. He, but, you know, I understand why he's so mad at different strokes. I understand that because could you imagine being in his position and being a sick kid, not feeling well, and your parents are forcing you to work? Mm -hmm. You know, I remember seeing him. There was a day when I was like 13 years old. And um, this is when he was rejecting the kidney again. And they actually had this boy on the set working. He was throwing up, deathly ill. It looked like he was death warmed over. And I started crying because I couldn't believe his parents were forcing him to work. And, you know, because there was one time when I was sick, I had like 102 temperature. And my mom took me home and said, you're not working today. And the actual studio called and told my mom if she didn't get me back to the set, I was going to be fired. Wow. And my mom said, well, you're going to have to fire him then because he ain't coming back. Man, go, we're gonna we're gonna send our doctor out, and they sent the doctor out, and the doctor said the same thing. The kid's too sick to work. They were playing for keeps back in the day. Yeah, they you know they really got away with a lot. Believe me. You know, you look what what's he talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's uh that's good stuff there from uh from Todd Bridges, but. Uh, uh, my favorite part, and I suspect everybody's favorite part, is uh, he was an little, angry little, little guy. guy yeah. Little guy. Never could shake that. But uh, it's sad, and it's sad when, you know, he, he was a public figure and, and a likable kid, and he always seemed to have to try and live up to being that. Yeah, he was angry and difficult. Moving to Utah in 05, and uh, according to a tally, it says here in early uh, 2010, officers were called to assist or intervene with Coleman more than 20 times. In the, in the following years uh, at his home, including a suicide attempt and then obviously disputes involving his wife, a woman named Shannon Price. He met her on the set of the 2006 comedy Church Ball. That was good stuff, Church Ball. And, uh, but she was with him uh, when he died. I, it's incredibly sad, but he never, he seemed, he was angry. He got into a lot of fights. Mm -hmm. uh, he clearly had a difficult time.